Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. Last time we cleared the Hive, which is a very clearly unfinished area. <laughs> and this time we are going to be making our way back to the Queen's Gardens because there's something that we never picked up there that has kept us from a getting to a sub-area in the City of Tears, the one that I mentioned that we'd be doing last time. I do need a little Geo, so I can get Fragile Strength back. But getting that Geo is not going to be any small issue, or any big issue. Kill, huh? Man, these guys aren't even- these, these bees are very hostile, and they're not even dreamers. The weird hive men are. But not the bee. Well, uh, nope, nope. I take that back. The bees are. I did not notice the dream goop. Okay. Back to the hidden station. Uh, okay. one just in the garden. Okay. And where we're going is... I keep forgetting I can actually literally just put down markers there. So just need to go down a bit and then all the way to the right. That tubey looking room... is where the love key is. I forgot what this room was. That's why I actually bothered trying. Yeah, I plan to do um, most of the normal like out in the world boss fights and charm collecting and shard collecting um, before we head into uh, the final DLC. I don't remember, I don't know if it's actually the final, final released one. Um, but we're doing uh, God Hunter stuff later. Like, that's the last thing we're doing before the final boss. Now when I think about it, this game very much does the Castlevania specific thing of, um, you know, making it so you can get the bad ending very early in the game. And then having you do, like, half of the game to get the good ending. 
There's the love key. Too long spent together. We became as one. You have like void eyes. Um, if I go to the right, then I can hook around to the Queen's Station very easily. Still can't one-shot the bomb throwers. That sucks. I guess I do still have like the three grubs left too. Pull bugs into their thrall till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. Gungi, Gungi, Mishi, Uma Sanga, Pogiu Jungo. Huh. I see. So worms like the king craft civilizations out of bugs. Yet the mushrooms are eternal. Alright, uh, what's the fastest way for me to get there, though? King Station. Covered in padding, it bears a symbol of love. I guess there technically is still also a purpose in Geo in that the last charm costs 800. But I can more than easily acquire that through just selling crap. Free you, buddy. Void. 
It must be saved! <laughs> Only me and my siblings are allowed to be made of void. Oh my god. This- I don't like this. The discordant version of the boss theme is really funny though. to absorb it. A safe space for you, and you, and you! <laughs> Dark figure locked inside the Tower of Love. Preserves Hallow Nest creatures in glass jars of particular attention given to grubs. A shadow that sometimes flits through the caverns, making strange noises to itself. I've never seen it clearly, so I have no idea what type of creature it is. Oh, is that the last three? I actually got all of them. Taking the collector's map. Hold, I'll be, uh, the locations of imprisoned grubs will be dis. Okay. I did not get all of them, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, did I just get this at the very freaking end? But no, no. Okay. Well, that's not all of our business here in the city, though. Um, I need to go back over to the storeroom. Uh, fast travel point because we actually have some business back in the soul sanctum
Man, it's still a ways to get to the frickin' Soul Sanctum. Um, for the record, I didn't know it was actually in there. Just that, you know, oh, here's where the key is. Two-shotting those guys. Now, remember how there was a kind of rematch fight against uh actually I think I can go crap that's not how I wanted that to go again why did I do that I make the same mistake so many times um no that doesn't take me where I want to go that takes me back to where I absorbed the uh snail and upgraded the soul blast. Um, right, uh, Broken Vessel had a rematch dream fight. Uh, several other bosses have this. But Record Abba. The mind still limits us so how to oh. Oh, A few bosses are actually kind of surprising that they have them. Uh, like, one of the first bosses actually has one. But we're over here right now. So... And this is how we're going to get uh, the end game level of essence needed. Um, for the seer. Wait, was there a way up here? Did I already go up here? Oh yeah, I think I did. Because I remember fighting just a ridiculous amount of the, um... Rejects, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, good. Um, yes, right here. Um, I don't understand why this guy ha uh, why the other one has one. This guy, you know, clearly a master of soul, which involves dreams, I think. You know, the broken vessel, a vessel. This one, that's not going to make any sense, though. Soul Tyrant. Yeah, these rematches are basically hard mode versions. Which makes sense, you're fighting them within the confines of their own minds.
And you can do this as soon as you have, I think, the regular Dream Nail. I don't think it has to be the Awoken one. Yeah, like I said, very much hard mode fights. You know, I probably should have taken Fragile Strength for this, but I don't know if it breaks during uh, dream fights, since you don't actually, you know, die, you just kind of get expelled, and you do lose a lot of soul, admittedly. Don't worry about the stagger, just heal. Yeah, that's just based on number of hits, I think, rather than, you know, damage you dealt. Oh, that was a very lucky time for me to jump. Wow, okay. Um, give me... Cool. I didn't want soul.
the reason I go in the corner is because it's an extreme of the arena, so it feels less likely to be targeted, even though that's clearly not the case. And plus, you know, if he attacks from the other side, or from one side, there's a higher chance of... Well, it takes longer for the attack to actually get to me, you know? Which gives me a little more time to try and heal. Okay, full heal time. Is peanut butter a condiment? Ponder this in the comments. heal even though it's not a full heal. Oh god, do I have to do both phases? Yes. But this phase has significantly less health from what I remember. Hitting him does not stop it. The slam. Even with the freaking pure nail, man. It takes a lot of hits. Okay, don't bother healing. Really? I assume I need to do them in a row. I forget if you needed to in the actual fight. Okay, if I die again, then I'm gonna bring a different build. I think I'm gonna bring a high blood build. High blood and, you know, shaman stone, mainly. That way I can actually do something with the soul I get. I don't know why I'm, like, trying to rush this phase. Wow, that charge, like, stopped just short of me. 
He must have started, like, at the very extreme. He doesn't do that during phase one a lot, usually. It's weird. You know what? I'm not gonna try and stop and he- okay, I'm coming back. I'll be right back. Alright, here's the build. Shaman Stone, Mark of Pride for some range, and Hive Blood. I'm full on soul, and I can always just grab more from those canisters. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. Hive Blood will allow me to recover HP while dodging, which makes dodging more of, you know, the focus. And it should just generally speed up the fight. Since I'm not, you know, holding up and trying to heal as much, if at all. It takes a minute to recover, but... I mean, the fact that it recovers at all is huge, you know? Oh god, okay, so progress of recovery... Regeneration does not carry over. Oh, and you can only recover the most recent hit. Okay. And I'm going to stop recover that. Okay. It still reduces downtime, though. A general, you know. Desire to use focus or to use soul on the shade blast is still a thing. Oops. Good opportunity to heal. So is this. I'm just gonna hit you with that. Let that hit regenerate. And then heal the one I can. Okay, I can't cling to the wall. In fact, I should not be aerial at all, really. During that phase. I dashed. I don't know what the game thinks I did. But... I think this works a lot better. Because I can smash those. Come up here and smash these guys. They give a ton since they are, you know, kind of mutated by the stuff. And do these? These do not regenerate, but they do between attempts.
Also, if you're not regenerating, getting hit once does not matter a lot in this fight. You just need to focus on dodging a bit more. Because you're not risking um, losing regeneration progress. To focus. Okay. I do want to heal that. Dang it. Plus, the reluctance to heal from. Oh, but I'm close to regenerating that hit point is very nice in, you know, conserving soul. Okay. I get two heals here. Would have been three if I were a little smarter about it, but okay. I just one turn killed him. Mortality. Anything to say for yourself? In my dreams I could see it. The kingdom's salvation, the cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Alright, that concludes our business in the City of Tears for now. Actually, I think overall, because we have all the items here. Um, I mean, we're going to sell the, um, the collectibles at some point, but yeah, that was the last major check mark here in the City of Tears. On our to-do list. Also, it didn't help that you were kind of murdering people, buddy. Like, I know the king is intrinsically murdering people by sending the vessels to die. But uh, you, you don't get moral ground over the king here, I don't think. Oh, I should change my build. Back to the usual. Okay, next time on Let's Play Hollow Knight, we're headed back to the Forgotten Crossroads. We've got one more dream battle left. Well, of the main ones. See you guys then.